Coffee Time friends, how y'all doing? It's me, John and Mama, here with Coffee Time with John and Mama. If you aren't following us on Facebook, head on over to Facebook, Coffee Time with John and Mama. There's over 160,000 followers, so don't join any pages with any fewer than that, And uh, because some of them have been duplicated, but they're not us. Mama's making chili tonight. It's not exactly chili weather, but it's chili eating. Mama, take it away. Oh, I've got, got a pound of brown chuck. And I put a few onions in it, and salt and pepper. It's cooked, and I work on adding some leftover pinto beans here. I didn't get that can of other things. Hold on just a minute. Just use those if you want to, whatever you want to do. I'm opening up the paste. All good chilies deserve a good paste. Makes the makes it rich. And extra good. That must have been packaged hot. It's sucked down in the middle. What's that? Mm -mm -mm. How much does paste you want? All of it. All the paste going into the pool. Well. Let's see here. I'm gonna have to re get a new utensil. Cause that ain't that ain't gonna get that paste out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get it tapping. Oh. I forgot to tap. Oh, I thought you used the top. <laughs> I said, this is your chili. You did the top. You did the top. You top of one in. Go ahead. So that's got the paste in there. With the pintos. What are you going to do with these tomatoes? You're going to crush them first, Mama? Yeah. I just squirted the seeds out of them. Seeds? Yeah, I love them sure. Oh, that ain't a good thing. So this is the whole tomatoes. You doing them over there that way? Yeah, I'm no mashing. Sure. They're like home canned tomatoes. Home canned. This is just like a can of home canned. We don't use home canned tomatoes, I think I've told y'all, in chili all the time. Sometimes we will, uh, but... If you're going to put all the spices and all the extra flavorings in there, you're going to lose that homegrown goodness. This is just like it when you, when you mash them up. So that's just like a can of, get, how do you, homegrown section. Now some of that's got some paste in it because I was rinsing my spoon off in it. <laughs> All right. Open up and boom. Dark red kidney beans. This is just a small can. It's just 15 ounces. Fifteen ounce can. You can use light dark or whatever you want to use. It don't matter. Either way. Does it, Mama? I haven't really detected any, and I don't drink. You can if you want to, but that's just more liquid with more flavor. You put your chili powder in. Well, how much chili powder do you want, Mama? It'll take a couple tablespoons of this. I don't know if that's all right. This is the McCormick cheddar powder. Well... A couple of tablespoons, but I gotta have a tablespoon. Hmm. I piled all these utensils out last night to show y'all, and now this old drawer is not settled back down. I guess I'll just have to measure it the old fashioned way. Tablespoon, here we go. You feel the little 
divot in your hand up, most of the time that's going to equal a tablespoon. You feel just the very center, it's a teaspoon. So there's two tablespoons of McCormick Dark Chili Pepper. Now I'm going to add this part of a thing of tomato juice in here. Let's pull y'all over here. Look down in that there pot. See what we got. So this is coming together. Probably gonna need some salt because you got all the tomatoes, but we'll wait and taste it. I put a little in the meat, but not enough. There's salt and black pepper in the meat. Now y'all ought to really be proud of me, mama, if we can pull this off. Because this is only three quarts of chili. Probably one of the least amounts we've ever made. But that's what it looks like with that. Now that's good, rich chili. It's gonna be thick, but some people like it thick. There you go, Mama. Stirred and ready for some heat. What are y'all up to? Let's see what chins are doing today. It's an A-B day here today, absolutely beautiful. I mean to tell you, it's 78, 79 degrees, easy. My uh, vehicle registered 79, coming home. I thought, can you not do one more degree so we need 80? But it was nice, it's, it's a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day at lunch. Uh, we started out with some rain, lots of rain. But that tapered off and went on its way. Mama, you got more beans here. So we'll end up with four quarts. <laughs> We're headed toward a gallon, folks. Um, unless you want beans for supper. Uh -uh. Another time. She said, uh uh. So we'll just have them put them in the chili. That's a good way to get rid of pinto beans. If you beat pinto beans, you beat them twice, you beat them three times. You're like, phew, I'm tired of these beans. Unless you want to save some and we'll refry them. We do refried and have um, tortillas or something this weekend. You ever do a homemade refried beans? Mm. They are good. It says it's not here in Louisiana. You mean warm? Is it cold, Louisiana? Hello, John and Mama. Hey, Wanda. Hey, Wally. How are you? Show and freezing rain. Oh, snow and freezing rain in upstate New York. Yeah, I heard y'all have had some bad weather. Um, really bad. So today is National Chili Day. Wendy, isn't it a wonderful National Chili Day, even though it's a little warm? National Chili Day, here we are. We hit that right on the nose. Lots of snow up from Minnesota. Hey, Vicki Todd, how are you? Hi, John and Mama. Joanne. Hey, Deanna, how are you? Happy smoked ribs. Ooh, Cheryl. Is it Sherry, Sherry, I love smoked ribs. They are so good. Um, we are eating leftover spaghetti, and I'll make fresh onion, fresh green beans. Ooh, spaghetti and green beans. We used to have that in school all the time. Mm -hmm. Mama, I'm gonna get that right there because I can, I can see there's chili there. All righty then. So what else is going on? National Chili Day. Cold and rainy in New York. And that's Pine Bush. It's not cold here at all. It's warm. It's like springtime really it's like march even though march is a few days away the weather we're having is just like march you left out the tabasco and the red pepper now did i tell you pamela that mama's making this chili i don't put tabasco and red pepper in mine either but now when mama's making it you can guarantee there won't be no but tabasco or red pepper with her mama oh no 
Stop at the heart, Mama says. 67 today, 20... What? 67 today, 27 tomorrow near Cleveland, Ohio. Oh. Chili sounds good. Ruby, are you telling me you got 67 today and 27 tomorrow? You got a cold front coming through. Had leftover spaghetti. There's another left. Hey, John and Mama, beautiful. Uh, Virginia Day, KFC for dinner tonight. Now, Mama likes KFC. Mama, tell me your favorite dinner. Come up here and tell me your favorite. Wing dinner. Huh? The wing dinner or oh, chicken liver. Wing dinner. You won't find many chicken livers at KFC anymore. We have one at Iowa's every once in a while. Yeah, uh, in Corbin or in Weedsburg. Yeah. Mama, don't run off. You're right there in the camera. Well, I've got tomatoes on my shirt. You're ashamed. You're ashamed. Yeah. It squirted. It just if you only had an apron. I know. If I could find an apron somewhere. Um, we used to. I don't think they have them in Winsburg anymore. They don't have them? I don't think. I've uh, not been there in a long time. So. It's hard to find chicken livers at the KFC around here anyway. Um, but I used to get them all the time. And they may have them still in Winsburg, Kentucky. I don't know. To make a Winsburg on here, can you fill us in on the liver situation up there at the KFC? I know you usually have to wait on them. Oh, how is warm today? Barb, is it good? Um, I'm almost 70 here in Virginia. That's where we was today. Gorgeous day, Wanda. It's gorgeous here, too. These days are foolers, though. Don't you get yourself thinking it's springtime. Don't you start getting too over antsy and start planting tender little plants up there. Because there's more cold to come. Guarantee it. And it'll get bit. There's probably even some more frost to come. Oh, wow. There'll be snow, probably. Maybe snow. 80 in Lucan, Texas. Carrie, that's about what we got. Is it just like all the way up through here? 80 degrees, Virginia, Kentucky, uh, Tennessee, Texas, uh, Mississippi. I bet y'all got 82. Wednesday. Is liver day here. Oh, Sandy, are you telling me they have it on certain days? Mm, I need to look into that. Maybe I'll make a phone call and say, hey, if y'all have a liver day. Buffalo Wild Wings has great wings. Now, Karen, you're talking different wings than Mama's talking. Mama don't want them buffalo wings. <laughs> she don't like them hot wings. She likes them Kentucky Fried Chicken Fried Wings, don't you, Mama? Oh, yeah. Plain so, old chicken, Kentucky. Plain old wings. Not hot wings or buffalo wings. Or, I won't eat them. And not uh, what they call naked wings and garlic butter wings and fried KFC style. Living herbs and spices. She, Mama wants her living herbs and spices. She ain't going to be cheated. But now we like us some uh, cheater chicken pretty good. Some pork tender, some. Uh, Chicken tenderloin. Southern. Chicken southern tenderloin. Tyson southern chicken. Tenderloin. Chicken what? Say it, Mama. I can't remember. Southern. Tyson southern chicken. Tenderloins. Chicken tenderloins. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Y'all know what we're talking about. Hi from little town Tazewell, Virginia. Well, hello there, Lois. So many times you just get away from me. I can't find you. Can I have your weather? Tammy, I'm sure you will. Where you at? I'm sure you'll have our weather in a minute. We'll have somebody else's because we can't keep weather. To us in, in East Tennessee, weather's like money. You got it today. It's gone tomorrow. It'll be, it'll, it can be 80 here to tonight and it will be snowing maybe in the morning. It wouldn't surprise me a bit to wake up in the morning with a, a few inches of snow. I mean, it just that's their own calling for that, but would it surprise you, Mama? No, not here. We we get some strange weather. And this whole month of February is acted just like March. It has. March came early. We're borrowing days. My granny used to say all the time, we'll have to pay for these days we're borrowing for March. Did you, Mom? Yeah. Well, what does that mean? That means March is going to have some cold weather in it to make up for these pretty days. 
When you borrow from March to get your pretty weather in February, then February is going to give it back in cold weather in March. We're going to pay for all of them days. There's all kinds, just like there's winters here, we have whippoorwill, we have something called britches. I never had heard of that one about a year ago, though. Uh, we have, what else is the winters, Mama? Uh, blackberry. Blackberry, red above, and... Dogwood winter. Dogwood. That's going to be the winners. Red bud winter. Blackberry winter. Blackberry winter. And uh, Riches winter. Riches winter. And there's a sarvis. Sarvis. That's when the water trees and the mountains start blooming. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's an Easter squall. Yeah, that's always usually cold. Right around Easter, you get a cold day or two. Front, front. So we got a bunch of winners to go. I can't remember them all. Somebody told me last year, and I, I've got them shifted around my head again. 25 degrees in Abilene, Kansas. Teresa. Howdy from Texas there. D, is that your name? D McDaniel. It says, I received my spices from y'all. Let's see what she says here. I received my spices from y'all's sweet tea and love the steak seasoning. So far my favorite. Janice, uh, it is delicious. It's not my favorite, but it is delicious. My favorite is the southern. Now when I say it's not my favorite, it's probably like people talk about their kids. You love them all and they're all different. This is what she's talking about, the fancy steakhouse from y'all's. It is good. And now, I tell people all the time, this is not fancy steak seasoning, it's fancy steakhouse. It can be used on pork chops, chicken, all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's delicious. Surface makes chili. Uh, salt. Salt and chili powder. This okay. is my favorite one so far. Southern Secret Garlic and Onion. And I use this stuff, onion and garlic. I use this stuff on everything. I put a little sprinkle of this on everything. I love the ranch. I guess we use these two a lot on season for meats and stuff. Um, I and mean, if, you, if you ever try the cinnamon sugar, it's delicious. You can use it for all things breakfast. Um, I even got some of those cinnamon rolls the other day that you get at the store that comes pre-made. And I thought, well, I'm also going to put some of this. Oh, it was a game changer. It was delicious. Look at this chili already made. Everything was good, don't Chili. Yeah. It ain't got enough chili powder. I don't know, Mom. You better taste for yourself. Cause. We want it to taste like chili. Yeah, I would put. So, back to the old bottle. This here is dark chili from, why don't you use some mixing? That may be the flavor you're looking for. Oh, that's flat. I this. is good and I use it every time, but I used to put a little mixing in it too. Can you reach it? No, I ain't found it yet. Just don't you just have a spice cabinet? And don't say to straighten it up, because I have, and it comes unstraightened. It just goes. Did you find it? Yeah. This is what we're talking about. Maxine. This was her daddy's favorite. And I think that's the reason we use it, it's because it's Papa's favorite. It's called Maxine. Chili powder. So it gets a little, every chili here gets a little mixing. Mmm. Smells like chili. They both smell alike. They do. Basically, you give it a smell. Come over here where they can see you, Mama. They want to let you smell the chili. Oh, <laughs> What if you start sneezing or something? We don't get this capture. What do you think about this? 
Ain't that a lie? Yeah, I'm pulling it tonight, Bailey. Well, just put you a dash dash of both of them in there. I think it could use a little bit more than Seth. Now, you might not think so, though. Maxine's not as dark. Just a dash dash. Chili is easy to make, and chili is so versatile. So, like, you can eat chili tonight in a bowl with some crackers or whatever you want, or chili and cornbread's good. And then tomorrow, you can put it over chips and have a taco salad. Or you can even put a little taco seasoning in it tomorrow and make it even more taco-y. But now I'll eat it over the weekend if we have any left, which looks like we're going to. I'll have it with some uh, tortilla chips and a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of cheese. It's good. Ain't nothing. And you can always freeze it. But on National Chili Day, I don't care if it is 80 degrees, we're having chili. Aren't we, Mom? That's right. We don't ever go with the weather. We don't ever go with the season. If I want dumplings in July, I eat dumplings. If I want chili in July, which we always have hot dog chili, and usually bowl chili too in July, don't we? Yeah. Um, don't make no difference what the weather is. If you no, want something. your stomach don't know. You can just say, it's winter. <laughs> Your belly don't know what time it is either. You can have breakfast for supper. He don't care. Your belly don't care. Did you, did you snort that chili up your nose, Mom? Yeah, you had me too on camera. Yeah, she's blaming me. Can y'all believe that? Can you believe it? A little onion powder, cumin, and more chili powder. Lee says onion powder and chit and cumin, Mom. You got onion powder up there. Now, we don't do the cumin. I don't even do cumin when it calls for cumin. I do a little bit of cumin. Cumin is one of those things I know it's in there, but I, I don't use it in chili. I use it in tacos. Um, and I put about half what the recipe usually asks for. Because it's one of those, to me, that packs a punch. You can get too much of it. She put a little onion powder, didn't you? Yeah. Little onion powder, Lee. She went with that, but now that came in, she didn't go with that yet. We may go with it tomorrow, just to pinch or two, uh, if we go chill, if we go taco style. Well, it's hot, because I'm here to pop it. That's Maggie's toenails. But that over there is a popping too. Maggie, what are you doing? You just want to see what Maggie's doing. Look at this little doll. Let's see if I can get her out of here tonight. Maggie, what are you doing? There she goes. She's just like Mama. She won't stay on there long. Now, I bet y'all are going to say, how come Maggie's limping? Maggie's old. Maggie's about 13. She got hit by a car about five years ago, four years ago. Yeah, she did fine. She had some teeth knocked out. She, um, her right foot was kind of crushed there. They bandaged it up, then went all they could with it. And she used it for probably six months or so after that. You'd see her using it quite a bit. And, um, but she never did use it 100%, but she used it when she wanted to, wouldn't she, Mama? Yeah. She hardly ever does anymore, but it got arthritis where those bones have broken her little wrist and stuff. And uh, just like anybody, she just don't, she favors it. Now, if she's outside, if something comes in the yard, she's all for pads on the ground. Till she gets her point made. Then once she gets her point made, here she comes back. She can let it go down there. But when she, when she does lose track of it, hurting her a little bit, and she has medicine she gets to hurt. I can tell she licks it a lot. I know it's hurting. I know the vets give me some medicine to give her. Or she um, favors it differently. Like, she'll let it touch the ground when she's pretty well okay with it. But if she holds it really high, I know that it could be hurting her more. So we kind of know the sim this where she's at with it. But she don't slow her down. 
she still goes and does what she wants to do with your mama. It may have slowed her down just a little bit because what she did is she ran away from mama. Mama had her out there, Mama was out there with her, and she I ran away from her. I was working, and I looked up, and I couldn't find her, and she ran. She had done it before, but she didn't get in trouble. And so it happened that quick. Mama was out there with her. She ran off, and um, Mama started looking for her immediately, and the neighbor from over the, the road Your came, neighbor said, huh? and came and said, Your dog's been hurt, and it's on my porch she had recognized my house or just the closest house i don't know and she because i live around the block and uh so mama called me i went over there and she was up under my bench uh scared to death of course you're not supposed to move them you're not supposed to do that well when they are hurt you do and so i went over wrapped her in a blanket and i held her and she was so she was, I think she was in shock too, so I warmed her up, took her to the vet, and they, you know, anytime you take them when they're really hurt, they'll say, you know, she may be in pain, she may be, I said, well, she, she's not yelping and she's acting, and so they said, we'll give her some pain medicine, give her a day or two. So we had to walk her with a sheet, I cut a, with a t-shirt, a t-shirt and put it under and I would have to hold her up because she wouldn't even try to walk. So we, we would had to walk her. We did some therapy with her. And uh, day in, day out, she got better. And uh, you see how happy she is now? So that's been several years ago. Let's give this a sample. Well, I can tell you right now, Mama, it looks better. Looks like chili. Well, compared to what the other looked, this looks like chili. I put some of both of it in. So you can tell the difference in the bowl and in the spoon. Let's let it cook a second because it's good and boiling. You want tea? That's what I'm going to get. Oh, yeah. Tea and coffee. And I want some of those tortillas right there. That is super duper number one. Perfection, Mama. Let's see what we ended up with. Because I can measure it right here on the side. We only ended up with three and a half quarts, which is good for us. But look in that pot. Look at that measuring over there. Three and a half quarts is good for us, ain't it, Mama? Yeah, we I make little amounts and we don't. We don't do good. We're not good at it. What chips am I getting? Those tortillas. Ain't this some this yeah, those cheap chips. Why on earth am I eating cheap cheap chips? Because that's what our store had. And they were on sale, if that. They were on sale and they were cheap cheese and they had cheap cheese salsa too. Now they may not have it again, but that's what they had then. Maybe it's been a while. All these are getting authentic. Chee -chee. Yeah. Somebody asked me, said, y'all have a chee cheese? No, ma'am, we don't. We don't have anything like that. But we do have the chips here occasionally. Have the chips and... Have the what? Have the chips and sauce here right now. We have the chips and the sauce with him. We don't have the restaurant to go with it, though. <laughs> Little noise. Sorry. Ice machine. Yum, 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 yum. Well, y'all sweet tea. Now, it's about the season where we'll be making y'all sweet tea once or twice a day because we already make it every other day or once a day now. Sometimes if it's the weekend, every day, and the rest of the time it's 
at least every other day. Oh, that is so good. If you like these cups, they have those on their website as well. You get different colors. These are the, they're silicone and they are they easy to wash. They grip them good. Mama loves them because you can grip them. They squeeze a little bit, but they're firm. And they don't uh, slide, your hand don't slide, you know, mm -hmm. it's gone. Mama can't drink out of every glass, but she can these. Let's pray, Mama. Let's bless our food. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity and we just declare that you'll Nourish us with this food, your Lord, and just bless these precious things that prepared it, Lord. And Lord, we just want you to be with us and be with all the prayer requests out there, those spoken and unspoken. Be with each and every person. Be with our world, our country, dear Lord. Be with our nations. Be with our leaders around the world. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mama, I'll dip you up some because that's a deep bow. A deep bow. Thank you, Mama. You want silent cream? Yeah, I'll have some just do chili. Do chili, see if For I National can. Chili Day. Yeah, I'll see how it is. I may have to have some sour cream and baked chips with it. Well, I'll just give you a little bit so it'll cool. Yeah. Those are yours. We like to do about half a bowl of whatever we're eating, and then we go back and get another half. I do the same thing. A little bit and pour the milk, a little bit and pour the milk. I like a big bowl, and then I want to fill it about three quarters full of my heart. I mean, about one quarter full, and eat it, have the milk. I need to get the scissors. No, ma'am. I'm right on top of this game. There you go, Mama. You're good to go. That's all up when <laughs> we buy pre crumbled crackers. I hate all this noise. I like tortilla chips with my chili. Do you? Is that how y'all like it? Huh? Mm. I eat them like Mama eats the crackers. I eat crackers sometimes. Mama, did you know it was National Chili Day? Is that the reason you recommended this? No. I think it needs a little salt in it, too. Mmm. Might -hmm. let it cool down a second. <laughs> Burnt you? It was a little warm. Well, I think you did perfect, though. It's delicious. And it ain't hot. I mean, outside. We make that hot. The sun's already going down. It's already getting dark. It's 6.30. Won't be long, though. We'll have daylight till 9.30. Now, y'all straighten me out on this once or twice. Hold on. Let me break it up. Because... There. We do change time. We're going to change time. We're going to spring forward. Did somebody tell me that was the last time? Or we're going to have to fall back one more time? Chili, I can't see y'all. I need a, a monitor. Hello from Florida. Oh, Anita, I bet you're warm. But it's nice down there. Needs cheese and guacamole. Is that Sissy or Stacy? Sissy. Sissy. That would be good. But tonight we're just going straight at chili. Now tomorrow night we might turn this into a taco salad or something. Or maybe just eat it for lunch. What do you say, Mom? We've got those chili corn chips. We can oh, those, those fritos. Fritos, yeah. And with sour cream. And with sour cream. We can eat it that way. It's a totally different dish.
A fine linen napkin. Linen. Don't linen need paper? I know. I know, I know I was joking. <laughs> Some of you are like, no, we don't need paper. What's wrong with you? <clears throat> Chili, huh? What is that? Linen. Linen fresh air freshener. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some in on them paper napkins and they be That's right. It'd be like some idea one time. They named their bathroom gym. So they could tell their doctor they got up every morning and went straight to the gym. It wasn't a lie. It just wasn't clear. Thank you for those stars. Those are those. D, thank you for those. Get y'all too high, get y'all too low, can't see. It's just a white blur to me going up there, right? He wants my glasses. <laughs> Stay healthy, sweet folks. It's 86 Ooh. degrees in Florida. Hey, Barbara, how are you? I can't see. Chili cheese quesadillas left over. Meal, yum. Julie, that would be good. 80s in South Carolina. Y'all realize, if we're talking about 80s in all these places, and 77s, we're close to spring. The March bells have bloomed. The forsythias, they call them. Um, the Easter lilies, or... The hey, mama? Okay, that was what I was just going to ask you. There's something we call Easter lilies. And they're solid yellow. There's something that you call daffodils. And they got a little center thing going. And then there's something that you call jonquils. I think they're all the same flower. <laughs> they're they're singles and they're some doubles. What's the difference, folks? There's Easter lilies, jonquils. And daffodils. And I call all of them Easter flowers. But if you go to the flower shop or to the Walmart or to the Lowe's or wherever, they'll have Easter lilies and they'll be tall and have four white blooms on top. Those are real lilies. They're Easter lilies, aren't they? Yeah, but that's not the. It means snow is in the on the way. Yeah, probably it does. It was eighty five in Nashville today. Wow. Iowa here. Hey Pam. Does anybody know the Easter flower situation? Or are y'all sitting there thinking we don't have all that mess, John? We have daffodils. We have jonquils. I guess my thing is, and I've seen some that are yellow with orange centers, some that are solid yellow with a little green mixed in it, and there's even some uh, Mama said that are real lilies, I guess. They're white and different colors. I thought Easter lilies are white. That's well, Michael, that's what, Michael Flynn, that's what I'm saying. You know, I go to church, we have Easter lilies, and they're white. Big old trumpet. And they're hanging down there, four of them. But then when we're driving down the road, and you have those yellow ones. They call those Easter lilies, too, don't they, Mom? Or Easter flowers. Easter flowers. My son's a trucker and got there today. In Florida. Buttercups, Linda says. Which ones are the buttercups? Are they the ones that got the little cup in the center? We used to come at the flower shop and we just got a variety. And I guess I never did learn the proper names or the proper whatevers. Um, but this time of year, they all get umbrellaed under Easter lily.
So, how many of y'all observed Lent? So yesterday was Ash Wednesday. The day before was Fat Tuesday. So, did you give up something for Lent? Um, do you observe that? Different people do. Easter Lily is totally different, Greta says. I'll call. I'll call a measure of Lily too. I don't know what that was. Um, delicious looking chili. It is good. Mama did a good job. Mama, you get four or uh, five stars out of a five star review. Oh, that's wonderful. And you hit on National Chili Day, so you get six stars just for hitting on National Chili Day. Do restaurants even know the six stars? I don't know. They do to that. <laughs> Becky. Becky Payton says she had surgery too. She, she's doing good. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Send up some heart, some love for Becky. Yeah. We'll be thinking of you. John and Mama's Chili. Noah's putting the recipe up there for you all right now. Hey, John and Mama, hope you're both good. We are, Jennifer. You're doing great. Gave up chocolate and soda. Ooh. Susan, that's great. I've had to give up chocolate to really get Pam, paid. you give up coffee? You have to give up something that you really Pam, like. you give up coffee for 40 days? Mm. I am proud of you, but... That would be a hard one. It's not supposed to be easy. <laughs> Did you give up any of that, Mama? No, but I would have gave up chocolate if I had to. You would have? Yeah, I would. That's what I love the most, so that's what I'd have to give up. I love the people around me too much to give up coffee. I don't think of, is coffee something you can give up? Have y'all heard of pickled beans? Yes, like pimp up green beans. Pickled beans and corn duck together. Water, water, water. Pam, you're just going to drink water with no coffee. What if you could, could you eat that coffee flavored candy? Is that cheating? Well, Mama, you seem to be awful strict on this coffee. <laughs> you're losing the whole point of giving it up. I know it's supposed to be a sacrifice, but I'm fond of oxygen too, and I'm going to give it up. Maybe I should give up something. But not coffee, surely. John, if you gave up coffee for three days, you would be happy. I'd leave home. I'd go on a trip. Hey, I would have major <laughs> headaches. You're right. I'd have a headache. I'd have to go on a trip. Christ trail. gave up his life for us. You could give up anything. That is so true, Susan. That is the whole point of it. I gave up looking at the scales. Well, Ellen, if that meant a lot to you. I'm drinking coffee right now. I'm going to do chocolate. Melanie, that would be hard, too. John, I'm making chili tonight. Janice, you're right on track for National Chili Day. I used to drink a lot of coffee, but now I only drink it for breakfast. Teresa, I will say this. I haven't given it up nowhere near, but I have reduced it and I tried to replace it with water. So what I do now is I drink it 
of the morning. And I take some with me. And when I get through with that that I take with me, then I make myself switch to water. Because I was getting dehydrated and you could feel it. And then I have lunch and then at 2 o'clock I start back on a little coffee. So then I drink it the rest of the time. I had made chili tonight, beans, meat, ch chocolate. Yeah. Oh, you put chocolate in yours, Karen? I've heard of that. Not as hard as coffee. Like, oh. Oh, Mama is so funny. <laughs> she would leave. You know, she would have to. Everybody would. I mean, it just wouldn't be right. I feel like I drink coffee as a community service at this point. Uh, I couldn't give up chocolate. It would be hard, Nancy. I could give up chocolate. Yeah, you could. You're like crazy. Love my coffee too, chocolate. I could give up chocolate. I could give up sweets. For 40 bags. Don't look at me. I admire people that can do that. I do too. And it's a, you know, it's a, Thing, just like she said, um, Christ gave his life, so we should forgive give up anything. It makes me feel bad for my awful self. Huh? Make you feel small. Yeah, it makes you feel like I don't know, folks. I admire you people giving up coffee or chocolate, your favorite things. I didn't drink coffee for two years. It came back. Wait, let me see what you're saying here, Cindy. I didn't drink coffee for two years. It came back with a vengeance when I woke up at 3 a.m. one morning and was craving it. Sandy, I do that every morning. If I wake up at any point in the night, even if it's 11 o'clock at night, I look at the clock, my mind automatically thinks, how much longer till coffee? And depending on, that's the reason sometimes when I tell you I'll wake up at 3 o'clock and I might lay there 20, 30 minutes, if I don't do I just get up and I make some coffee. Yeah, because I might as well. Might as well get on up because I have no more to sleep. We need. We need to give up anger, resentment, and hostility and let the Lord fill us up with His grace. Nancy, Morse, that is beautiful. And I agree 100%. I hope they answer you someday. Answer who? Should I not answer somebody? I can't give up caffeine. Who said that? Hi, John and Mama from Stewart's Drift, Virginia. Hey, Sharon, how are you? You and your Mama are such beautiful. Well, thank you, Kathy. Mama's beautiful. Maybe Sunday school highlights might focus on the sacrifices we can make. It is as good as Lipton tea, Jill. The Yaw's tea is better than Lipton to, to us. Um, we are long. John, what's the difference between hot dog chili and bowl chili? Oh, uh -huh. Sherry, it's completely different. <clears throat> For one thing, hot dog or bowl chili, I'll just start off with it. So when we're making bow chili, we put our hamburger meat or our chuck and our onions in there. And we'll chop it up a little bit. We leave it some chunks of, you know, we, it can be chunkier. And uh, we always start all of our hamburger off with coffee in the pot because it tenderizes it makes it great. So we'll put the meat in there, put about a cup of coffee in there. And um, 
onions, and then we start adding beans, and like tonight, pinto and red kidney beans. We'll put the chili powder, um, and onions, all that in there. When you're doing ch hot dog chili, we will chop that chili up as fine as we can get it. We put about a half a cup of coffee in there, and um, or a cup. I mean, it could be. It doesn't have to be an exact, but you want to keep the liquid lower. We don't put tomato juice in our hot dog chili. We do in our cooked chili. Um, you just put tomato paste in your hot dog chili. And then I always finish the hot dog chili off with a can of Coca-Cola. And it gives it a little bit of sweet, but not too much sweet. And it's a finer, and you want to cook it down till it's dry. You don't want it to be soupy and chilly and wet. And anything else different, Mama, that you do? We always use Mexine only in our hot dog chili, too. Mexine is our chili powder for real. Anything else? Um, salt and pepper and chili powder. But it's a totally <laughs> different consistency because you want the hot dog chili. You don't want it making your bun soggy. You want it firm. You want it to hold on top of that hot dog. And you know how when you eat a hot dog, you don't want it, that old orange chili coming through the bun. So it has to be dry, but yet moist. And, but not soupy. So there's a big difference between hot dog chili and bold chili. Now, can you use them interchangeably? Well, sure. Hot dog chili probably would be as good in a bowl with crackers, but it, I, would, I would eat it. <laughs> But uh, you can use this kind of chili, especially sometimes we have this kind of chili left and we want hot dogs, we'll eat open-faced hot dogs. We'll put a piece of bread, cut a weenie up, put it all on there, put the chili on it, put a little mustard and eat it that way. Won't we? Yeah. So there's a big difference in the two. Coney's. That's a different kind of chili, isn't it? A Coney chili for hot dogs. Chili con Coney. Is that from Ohio? Coney Island. I love chicken livers. My favorite. I love them too, Kara. John, they ask if we got a Valentine gift. Mm -hmm. Valentine's Day. Mama showed us the gifts we got. No, we've got three, three different things. Oh, well, you want to get them and show them now? I guess we did get some we didn't show you yet. Been asking all week. Now you've got me consider. Cons uh. So, Randy, what have you been asking all week about the Valentine gift? John, someone is asking if you received their Valentine gifts. Okay. Doreen, is that you? Sherry, we may have. Mom was hoping out on us over here. Let's see what she's got. Mom, what you got? Valentine's Day seems like it was a long time ago. Does it, you know? Mm, you can see the mirror. Up. All right, Mama. Show them what you got. Well, I think all of this is... What's this? I haven't seen this. Yeah. It's that, like, melon slicer. Oh, a melon slicer. You can not see that? That's serious looking. Who, who, who sent this? It's called Slice Wrap. We'll try that out. Phyllis D. Hackett. I hope that's right. Is this what she got? This, the melon slicer? All of that was in one box. That oh, this whole stack? Yeah, that whole stack. Was well, lousy mercy, Phyllis. We showed that Ampic calendar. I don't think we did. Yeah, we did. Look, dish rags. Here is some with some Christmas lights on it, Tyler. Here is some with some snowflakes on it. Nice little memo pad for the refrigerator. And this is a corn silk remover. If you've ever dealt with corn, you'll know how important that is. You can remove the silks all at one time. Here's a beautiful pot hugger. Look, that's ready for right now, pears. <coughs> you all right, Mom? Yeah. <coughs> you still choked on chili? 
Oh, here's some Dove candies. Chocolate candies. And here's a kitchen recipe keepsakes and more. Kitchen keepsakes. Two cookbooks in one. Recipes for every family and every occasion. Bonnie Welch and Deanna White. Have you ever looked at these, Mama? I looked at this. Look at all the recipes. Summit meatloaf. German cabbage burgers. Ooh. Chicken stuffed melon. Chicken salad with green chilies. This is just a few of the things. Ooh, my. This is full of stuff. Huh. Vegetable rice and pasta. Maybe we can cook some of these. And here is a cappuccino. This is one of those coffee mats. So you can pour your coffee. And it will stay nice and uh, fresh. <coughs> Mama, are you choked? I'm just choked. I'm going to throw it sometimes. Okay, so that's that. What's that? An uh, almanac traditional. Oh, almanac traditional calendar. Fun facts, that is. And this is a 23. The, the almanac. 23. Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you, Miss. Phyllis, thank you so much. Very nice. All right, Mama. What else you got over there in your stack? Let me get this up in here. You sure you're okay with that? Mm -hmm. Ooh, Coca-Cola. Look here. This is a little Coca-Cola bottle. What are these? Magnet. Magnet. Whoa. That's a little Coca-Cola bottle. Look how neat. And here, look at this. The... That's like the signs. Yeah, the signs. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. I love that. Is that what this come from right here? Mm -hmm. Venice, Venice, Venisa? V-E-N-I-C-A. It's, it's kind of blurred. V-E-N-I-C-A, I think it says in the last name, is W-E-I-S-E-N-D. Wissend. Wissend. Thank you. We love all things Coca-Cola because my daddy worked there. Mm -hmm. Mama says we didn't show this, but I remember showing it. You can give them a quick glance. Just to... <laughs> this is the Advent calendar. I guess we're supposed to be flipping it right now. We've got all the March. No, we're supposed to flip it right now. I'll start the Irish Wednesday. Uh-huh. So let's flip it. Dear John and Mama, we love watching you two every day. You're... Uh, recipes, but the most of all, you two, we love your uh, silliness and how you get along so well. All right, let's open this up. It's time. Past time. So. This is John and Sue Drew. That's his number. And this is number one. It's right here. So this is, then Jesus came with them to the place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray, Matthew 26, 26, 36. And then yesterday, yesterday was Ash Wednesday. Okay, so that was yesterday's. And then today's is number two. And it says, he took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, my soul is sorrowful, even, so, even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. Matthew 26, 37 and 38. So there we are, up to date on our advent. All right, Mama, put that over there. We'll put mm -hmm. there as number three. And this is who sent it? Yeah. So this came from Joan. John. John and Sue Drew. We enjoyed this Easter Advent calendar starting up. And what was that other letter I just read? What letter? Start opening the windows on February the 22nd, Ash Wednesday. And 47 days will be Easter Sunday, April the 9th. Enjoy and take care. Well, thank you, Sue and John. From Montana. Isn't that wonderful? Are you up to date now, Mama? I think so. 
I've not went to the post office today, so. She thinks we're up to date. So, well, what we've got, if there's anything there, I don't know. So, go tomorrow and get it. Doreen, I didn't see your name on it. That was one of those what she was talking about. Okay. I don't know. The comments have stopped. I don't know if I froze them or not. Oh, now they're starting again. Hey, Susan. That is beautiful. Tammy, it is, isn't it? All right, Mama. That's chilly. You got an empty bowl? Yeah, okay, Mom. All right, Mom. You got anything you want to add tonight? See, now I got my cameraman all tore up. He don't know where to put the camera. You got anything to add tonight, Mama? Mm, no. Well, that was a wonderful quick supper. Y'all got to see that one from start to finish. Mama's quick with chili. Now you can do the all day simmer thing and it's good, but this is just as good. Well, everything was, the meat was cooked and seasoned. We'll come closer to eating the chili than we would the beans. But we will refry some of them. I saved just a little bit of them. A few refried beans with these Chi Chi chips. I love saying the Chi Chi chips. Yeah. All right, Mama. Anything else? No. No, No, thank you. What does that mean? There ain't nothing else to say. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I don't Do you think I was offering you another, no. another tea? <laughs> 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 All right, folks, y'all have a blessed night. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow night. I don't know what we're going to be into tomorrow night. Your guest is always as good as ours. Usually, I call mom at lunch or sometime during the day and say, what do you want to eat? And she says, I don't know. I'll think about it or I'll lay something out. Today... She said chili. I said chili it is. She said, I got them beans. Let's, I'll get some meat cooking. So. We need to use them. So. And it was National Chili Day. Worked out perfect, didn't it? I hadn't even noticed the National Day today. Sometimes I get it. Sometimes I hear it. Sometimes I don't. But we hit it today. It looks, I've seen a lot of other comments that said y'all hit it too. Some <laughs> more chilies out there. All right, then. Anybody else got anything? Mama will. Oh, Mama will eat that Dove candy? Yeah, she didn't give it up. She'll be eating that Dove candy. I have to have my sweets. Actually, it's not so sweet. I eat a lot of sweets. That's right. Address, please. Let's see if I have it right here. I keep a handy dandy post of. Uh, I think you're going to have to make a new one. Mmm, or is it even that right here? I keep this handy dandy. Mama, it still reads. <laughs> it might be looking right to you there. John Davis, P.O. Box 918, Angelico, Tennessee, 37762. If that don't look right, you can screenshot that. So just screenshot. If that don't look right, this will look right. It's John Davis, P.O. Box 918, Angelico, Tennessee. Three seven seven six two, and you can screenshot that. You got it. Okay. <laughs> so that's our PL box for all things coffee time cookbooks. Seventeen dollars total for the cookbooks that includes shipping and handling and everything. This is our church cookbook. Every dime of these proceeds. This is one we use, as you can see, it's Mark. Every dime of the proceeds that we get from this goes directly to the church. Uh, and it's $17 total, and that's shipping to him and everything. You can make your checks out to uh, OMBC for Oswego Missionary Baptist Church, or Oswego Missionary Baptist Church, or you can make it out to me or Mama. The bank never says, has a problem with it, because we deposit every dime of it directly into the account. So they really don't worry as much about how the check's made out since it's been direct deposited. So that's our church cookbook, and it's $17 if you're interested. We're not going to order again to see how the orders come in. Uh, so what we have will be it until, unless y'all want more. Uh, but the sales have gone down, which we're not complaining. Y'all have supported so no, well. Oh, it's done wonderful. It's done wonderful. And our church has done so many wonderful things. And uh, mission outreach, the children have done things. It's been a blessing to our little church. 
So, we appreciate y'all. But anyway, Mama, you don't have anything to add now? No, thank you. No, I just, uh, just talking about the children, I just want to say they did a wonderful job at the nursing home last night. We did a mission outreach, a home mission. We're also a missionary Baptist church. We do support missions. We support foreign missions, and we support home missions. And supporting them is one thing, but getting in there and actively doing uh, we're trying to teach our kids and our adults, you know, that just supporting this one thing, that hands-on is even better. So we've been collecting throws since November. Mm -hmm. The little lap throws, the little fleece. Uh, sometimes we found on sale and somehow buy up a bunch. But we collected over about 100 and some. And we took them to our local nursing home and every resident got a throw. And we had extras to leave for incoming residents. So... Um, They'll all have a throw. We, we try to do this every year uh, to help uh, the residents. And you would, you know, like if you have a throw at home, you probably have them for years. They don't get that opportunity because theirs is used more con consistently than ours is. So I asked her, I said, about how long will these last? And she said, we get about a month or two out of them. And then something, she said, and then we'll, you know, have to dispose of one. But, you know, we, we keep them here. So that's just a little outreach. So doing it every year is not too much. It's not like they're piled up with throws because, and these are just the little small ones that go over their legs while they're sitting or they can wrap up around their shoulders or something. But, yeah. oh, they all loved them. And they had different patterns on them. Some for kids, some for adults. And they all loved them all. Some of them had little cats on it. Some of them had owls and they loved them, everyone. Yeah, and one our, one of our little girls, if she had a blue and it went in a room. She said, it's it, a girl. It's a girl. And she still was it's a girl. Home, and she'd have to come back and get a girl. Get a girl. Right. And then it was cute. They did a wonderful job yeah, and it was a blessing. Really it was a blessing to watch them. And then it was a blessing to see the residents get them too. But it was they just love for the kids to give them stuff. They do. It was a good night. It really done good. It really was. Mm -hmm. You got anything else, Mom? No, I about forgot that. But I just want to thank all the kids. That we have the, we have the most wonderful youth group. I tell them all the time, y'all are the best in the whole wide world. <laughs> they are to us. We all, everybody loves their own. Um, but you can brag on them. Tell them how good they are. Tell them what a blessing they are. Tell them they're VIPs. Very important people. They, they are that. very important people. They need to hear that. Even though you think it, and we all feel it, let's tell them. All right, folks, we're going to say good night. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama, and God bless you all. Bye-bye. You all have a blessed night.